Baldo is one of the most popular teenagers around, appearing in his own comic strip, and has fans as far away as China. His fame grew rapidly because this groundbreaking comic was the first syndicated strip to feature a Latino family. Its main character, Baldo Bermudez, spends his time trying to be cool while living between two cultures. Baldo is a daydreamer with an overactive imagination. His life is all about cars, girls, and trying to fit in. <laughs> he likes to play sports, ride his bike, play video games, and tinker with car parts with his best friend, Cruz. Baldo is the brainchild of Hector Cantu and Carlos Castellanos, two Hispanic Americans who found the perfect platform to share their thoughts on growing up in the United States. We pulled from a lot of personal experience, you know, growing up in the States and, and living that, that dual culture, speaking Spanish at home and English outside. So it gave us a lot to play with. Carlos's entry into the United States is a story many can relate to, often told by parents who sent their children here in hopes of a better way of life. I was born in Cuba in 1961, it was when Castro was taking over, and my parents were trying to get out of Cuba. They didn't allow them to get a visa, they gave me a visa. My grandmother was living in the States, in New York, so they arranged for her to be in Florida, and they were gonna put me on a plane with a complete stranger and have her deliver me to my grandmother once I was in the States. I was eight months old when they put me on that plane. Fortunately, Carlos was able to reunite with his parents several months later. The passion for drawing for me probably came first. In third grade is really when I remember drawing prolifically. I wasn't even aware of comics, comic strips, or comic books until like when I was in middle school. I started picking up comic books for entertainment, and before I knew it, I was buying comics based on artwork, not so much of the story. So that was how I got my start, studying other people's work. Carlos's love for art was nurtured through his college years. He became a successful commercial illustrator and eventually opened up his own full-time art studio, catering to advertising agencies. The work I was doing, while it was gratifying, it was very commercial, very geared towards the client. But when I had Chase, Chase is my first son. When he was born, something clicked inside of me. While I was growing up, I always heard the stories of how they put me on a plane at eight months old. And I realized the significance of what my parents had done, what they had gone through. And I felt like I had to create something more with my art. Carlos found a new purpose after striking up a friendship with Hector Cantu, one of his clients from Dallas. Hector. Carlos. Yes, sir. How you doing? Great. It turns out like Hector was my age. He had three kids, just like I did. And I was Cuban-American. He was Mexican-American. You know, he had a love for comics and comic books and was raised on Mad Magazine, just like I was. And I don't know where it went or how it began, but, you know, one day he just called me up and said, would you be willing to work on a, on a comic strip together? And he wanted to see cartoons or stories or storylines that kind of depicted him growing up. So we started throwing some ideas around and he, his premise was Baldo, having a teenage kid named Baldo, and just have it be a family strip. We worked on it for probably about six months and we went ahead and submitted it to the top six or seven syndicates at the time. A syndicate can annually receive thousands of submissions from which only two or three might be selected. Surprisingly enough, you know, a couple of months went by and we heard back from Universal Pro. Baldo launched in April 2000 and was Universal Press's fourth largest launch behind Calvin and Hobbes, For Better For Worse, and Boondocks. It was pretty exciting. Baldo was the first Hispanic family in comic strip pages and we launched to almost 100 papers. I think it was like 90 something. So not a bad way to start off the race. Baldo was an instant hit, and the timing was perfect. 
as the 2000 census showed a surge in the Hispanic population. It was really satisfying to know that something that we created was so well received, you know, nationwide. Baldo's popularity has steadily grown with its readers. Today, this trend-setting comic appears in over 200 newspapers worldwide. Not bad for a teenager just trying to be cool.